Hi, this is Melissa Shufflebein with Bloom Health, and today we're talking about stimming, explained by a board-certified behavior analyst. So stimming is another word, a shortened version of self-stimulatory behavior. A lot of board-certified behavior analysts call it automatic reinforcement. And you've heard the stereotypes of hand slapping or making really rapid and repetitive movements, but what actually is it and why is it so common in kids among the spectrum? When we explain behavior, we talk about why the behavior occurs or the function of the behavior. And automatic reinforcement or self-stimulatory behavior, it simply means that it's a type of reinforcement that doesn't require anybody else to mediate. It's automatic, you can produce it yourself, and you do it simply because you enjoy doing it or it feels good to do it. The way that you can tell that something is automatic reinforcement or stimming is if it happens in any condition, in any environment, whether people are there or not. Other behaviors depends on where the child's at, depends on who's with the child and what the child wants to get out of the behavior, but stimming or automatic reinforcement happens no matter what, wherever the child is. Contrary to popular belief, stimming or automatic reinforcement can actually take several forms. I've seen this in running patterns, in ways that you take toys and move toys around. There's definitely hand flapping or different bodily movements. There's even visual patterns. Some children will take their eyes and visually track something back and forth without there really being anything to look at simply because they enjoy the sensation of what that feels like and looks like to them. It's definitely not limited to the spectrum, contrary to popular belief. Everybody engages in some form of self-stimulatory behavior or automatic reinforcement. For instance, if I'm concentrating, I might click my pen, I might move it around like this, I might tap it, I might bounce my knee, I could do different kind of scratching patterns on my face, I could twirl my hair. All of these are self-stimulatory behavior because they're regulation. They're things that I do simply not really thinking about it, but they help stabilize my emotions and my anxiety. Could even uh, help stabilize my excitement over something. Mm -hmm.